you will get a free Comet First book. Gusto ko ng happy ending. He drew this. Look at this. Close up. Most of these, I got it from the uh, 50 peso bin. This one also really hits home. What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. And for today's video, we actually went to another Comic Con. Last week we went to Pinoy Con and this week we are at another convention which is Peacock. It's a Comic Con for a lot of local artists here and a selected few from the international comics. It was a two-day event and we went both days because the first day was so much fun we really had to go the second day. And we had a lot in this plate right now that I have with you. And I'm just gonna show you a little preview of what I bought during our Comic Con. What we really enjoyed during Comic Con is we really get to talk and have conversation with all the local artists. Actually, that's one of the best parts of Con because they were all welcoming and so passionate about their jobs and see all their work. People trying to notice it and ask questions, trying to have conversations with them also and giving the hope to buy their comics. And uh, that's what we actually did. We bought a lot from our local artists. First up is, uh, this is actually not mine, but this is my girlfriend's favorite local comic artist, Hung Hang Flashbacks. Uh, I bought this for her and um, actually the, the comics here and the quality of the book itself is, the original price here is actually 295 but the Comic Con price is at 250 and we had it signed by the artist himself. And next up, this is uh, also for my girlfriend because like, wow, that's tea. Look at that. And I had it signed. Also, put it with my girlfriend's name on it. This is from one artist and the quality of his merch is amazing. Just look at some of the pages right there. And actually, if you are one of the first 1,000 attendees on each day, you will get a free Cometverse book. This book contains all of the artists, all of the local artists that were invited and went there. Two pages of these books are dedicated to them. These are from different artists. I had some of them signed and yeah, for 200 pesos registration and you get a free book, this book, this huge book. And since I went two days, I got two. Just look at that. If you want a free comment verse book, just comment down below. I could probably get this one to you guys. Just let me know. Next thing I got is a keychain. Look at that, it's very cute. I like cats. So next up is I got this. Uh, this is volume one of Skype Comics. And uh, this is Man vs. Epis. And uh, AJ, the artist, was kind enough to have it signed. Drew a picture of me in a uh, cockroach body and uh, it says here gusto ko ng happy ending he asked me like uh, complete the sentence gusto ko ng blank and then I just kind of went happy ending I don't know why I did but <laughs> yeah and then uh, apparently that's him no that's the EPs and then he's, he said like Mel let's go so that was like a cute interaction and uh, this is a preview of his comics right there Yep, very neat quality also. Next up is, this is one of my fave, actually. This is uh, very heartwarming, very wholesome. This is him, this is his signature right there. I have him sign this poster as well. And you know, as you can see, there's like a mom taking care of her sick child. And as you can see, there's Royal and Skyflakes. And it just kind of hits home as I am very far away from my mother right now. This just kind of sticks home right now. Yeah. Next up is uh, 
I actually like uh, Dra all Dracula stuff and I got this Draculine. I just found this randomly. This is a Draculine uh, comic. It's uh, all black and white. And I haven't read this still, but it's a... Uh, the artist told me it's a, uh, it's a comedy comic. So uh, I'll read this soon and uh, hopefully I'll like it. And then on the next Comic Con, there will actually be a lot of Comic Cons coming on. So um, I could probably get the next volumes of each of these on the next one. So I also like the graphics on the cover. It's very colorful, kind of retro vibe. That's why I like it. This is the store that I bought the uh, Draculine Libero Angelo. And uh, this came with this. Next up, I got this from Chuck. Chuck is a really great guy. He has the, if you've seen my previous video, he was the artist that has like a very cool mustache. And yeah, I have him sign his comic right here also. This is a two sentence horror stories. I can just give you a preview. There we go. Yeah. I just like things unique, you know. This brought out the uniqueness and uh, in the book, like the two sentence horror story concept. Uh, I really like it. Next up is uh, the artist, actually. This is the artist, Lucer Mangaka. And this won't sell well. I haven't read this still, but here's a preview of it. But kind of intrigue of it, of the title. So, Pretty soon I'm gonna read this. And uh, the artist was really awesome. Whenever you buy one of his comic, you get to have a free sketch of you. He drew this. Look at this close up. He drew this. And that is me. And that is so 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 cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Next up is um Pano Nilika ang Sandaikan Ayun Samat Tedurai. So this one, the artist of this was actually the one who invited us that there would be a peak off coming uh, in the next months. Well, that was SummerCon. And this comic wasn't actually finished yet. He showed us like a draft of his comics and it's all finished now. This is just one day after the event. So I haven't read all of the comics, but I'll be reading them and then I will bag and board each and every one of them after I read them. So the artist, this is the artist's uh, signature. And this is actually one of, one of the uh, particular comics that uh, intrigued me when I attended, when we attended SummerCon. So I really had to buy this one also. Next up is these two. These artists were also at SummerCon and we had a brief talk about their comics. And this one was Patay Kung Patay. This is a combination of volume one and volume two of the story. This is probably, I forgot, this is like an eight part um, series of Patay Kung Patay. And yeah, the, the graphics of this is amazing. Yeah, the story of this, I'm intrigued also. If I actually had the budget to buy the whole series, I would. This was one from another artist, but I, I think it's uh, they're from the same comic company, I guess, or a group of comiqueros. And this is called Crime Fighting Call Center Agents. I feel like this is going to be a good story. We're really close, really close. Next one, I bought this from, this is actually the real artist. This is Lucia. And I don't know if this is her real cat, but you know, everything cats, me and my girlfriend, if we see a very cute cat in general, we just instantly grab it, buy it, and uh, yeah, just look at the cat. And Lucia also. Next is, uh, I actually bought this because this is Pokemon. And uh, the artist told me that they uh, this is like a parody of a an anime a manga and a manga of like a creepy creepy fishes and uh i forgot i forgot what the man name of the manga is but uh it's in the video 
earlier, I had a talk with the artist and they told me what the manga was. So uh, I'm just gonna look it up. I'm just gonna show this. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show the manga right here. Check that out. Really cool details. And this one is Waylord. So this artist is a Singaporean. This is actually the only international artist that I bought a merch from. What I bought from her is... Oh, it is her also. Right there. This is what I bought from her. When I saw this first, it kind of looked like me when I when I saw it first. Let me know in the comments, does this look like me? It kind of looks like me, I mean, I guess. And I actually wanted this signed by her, but uh, apparently she couldn't sign this part. This is actually acrylic. This is hard stuff right there. So she was really kind enough to give me a poster, a small poster of the exact design and had her sign this one so thank you for giving me this for free i really really appreciate it this is like one of my favorite finds of the day also and this is her comic i had her sign this also after the first page i saw this this one this message this was um for her mom and dad Call me for mom and dad, and uh, this one also really hits home as you know, being far away from my family and all. I uh, haven't read this one still. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you all her issues. This was a new issue, PS, and she has a her first three issues. Um, Growing Pains, this was Growing Pains 1, Growing Pains 2, and then Growing Pains 3. I actually got this from her during SummerCon, and this was her newest issue which, re which she launched this week's Comic Con. So congratulations Danny, we are really 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 proud of you. And then just uh quickie of this uh, from the other comics that I bought also uh, this came from one boot they're full of indie comics uh, Marvel DC The Walking Dead and uh, I went ahead and tried to find as much as I can with a lot of 90s below comics and uh, this was uh, I was actually interested in um, Morbius for Spider-Man. Number three, this was 100 pesos and most of these I got it from the uh, 50 peso bin, less than a dollar, but um, it didn't come with a bag and board. So I'm just gonna consider it the dollar bin because I provided the bags and boards of this. I already put bags and boards of this. So yeah, this is from the dollar bin and this is what I got. Star Trek number four, Star Trek number 12, Teen Titans. Um, I guess this is the first appearance of Red Wing. I ventured this new series. It's called Copperhead. It's from Image Comics. I don't have the first issue, but I got like a few. I actually got all of them, all of the issues that were in the dollar bin. So I got 19, 16, 15, another variant of 15, and I got another variant of 15 right here also. And then we got 6, and we got number 2. So that's it for the video. I hope you really enjoyed Comic Con with me, and there will be more cons. I'll see you on the next video. Hey.